Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today received the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Simon Martin. His Majesty loaded the historic friendship, cooperation and partnership in various fields and reaffirmed Bahrain's keenness to further consolidate its ties with the UK to serve the interest and aspiration of two countries and the welfare of both friendly peoples. His Majesty the King conferred the first class order of Bahrain to the Ambassador in recognition of his efforts and role in bolstering the fruitful cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadabiya Palace. After the session, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser gave the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up on the directives he issued regarding the development of services and facilities in various areas of the kingdom and directed to follow up on the development and maintenance of Jet Hafs market. His Royal Highness directed to implement the development project of Raya Avenue in Muharraq and ordered to verify the efficiency of the sewage network and handle any leaks in the new area in Hid, in addition to following up on services that support the industrial and investment role in areas close to Hid, such as the Bahrain Logistics Zone. The Prime Minister also ordered that the road network should be able to accommodate the continuous increase in the number of vehicles vehicles and address traffic congestion. His Royal Highness instructed to speed up providing alternatives that can be used as means of irrigation and greening the southern and remote areas and appointed the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects to study the issue. The Cabinet welcomed the agreement on the arrangements for the transitional phase in Sudan and considered it a step towards supporting stability in Sudan and maintaining its security and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa directed to expand the priority list for small and medium businesses in the government purchases, tenders and service facilities of government establishments. Upon the recommendation of the Civil Service Board led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, the Cabinet approved amending the organizational structure of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to reduce the number of Assistant Under Secretaries from six to four positions and the number of directorates from 14 to 12. It also approves the organizational structure of the National Authority for Space Sciences to include an executive president and four directorates. The cabinet followed up on the preparations and procedures taken to meet the summer requirements of electricity and water. The cabinet hailed the efforts exerted by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs and Electricity and Water Authority to decrease the number of water supply interruptions 
options. The cabinet adopted the framework of the second session of the academic programs that review in higher education institutions. The cabinet also approved the government's response on a proposal regarding benefiting from Mazaya housing program. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the Chantilly Endurance Race in France, held under the patronage of Bahrain's Royal Endurance Team. More than 100 riders representing 21 countries around the world participated in the race, including Bahrain and the UAE. His Highness expressed pleasure at the level of Chantilly Endurance Race and the wide participation of different stables, pointing out that the race has achieved many goals set by the Royal Endurance Team in preparation to participate in the World Championship, which will be held in Italy next September. His Highness noted that the Royal Endurance Team achieved the objectives of the Chantilly Race and reviewed the readiness of the riders, as well as underlined the strength and weakness of the horses. He noted that the environment has a successful experience for the teams before participating in the World Championship in Italy. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the technical and administrative staff, as well as the riders, expressing aspirations for them to deliver a good performance in future championships. He praised the level of the royal team riders, pointing out that they performed well in the race in France and that an evaluation phase must be carried out in order to achieve the best results in the World Championship. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the organizing committee for their efforts and for providing full services to the participating riders. He congratulated UAE's rider Saeed Salim for winning first place, praising the distinguished level shown by him throughout the race. His Highness also praised the success of the team's Belgian rider Elizabeth Hardy and Bahrain's Dana Al Bin Ghadir for winning sixth place. For their part, the UAE riders praised the efforts of His Highness in the development of the endurance sport and his keenness to support the royal team for the Chantilly race. اليوم معركاتنا مختلفة شوي كان همنا الأول والأخير نأهل أسد البطل لازم يكون إنه هو مخلص 120 ال 120 هذه تطلب منه إنه يكملها ويعدي الفحوصات كلها عشان يدخل بطولة العالم اللي هي في شهر تسعة في إيطاليا فكان همنا الأول والأخير إن إحنا ما نأخذ ال اسوء الاحتمالات وندفع الاحصان ونعرضه الى الاصابه ولا هو اليوم احنا متاكدين انه يقدر انه يفوز السباق ولا قصور في المشاركين كلهم سواء من فرنسا ولا من البحرين ولا من الامارات ولا اي دوله جات شاركت معانا ف مطمنين احنا الحمد لله من المستوى مطمنين من اداء الاحصان ان شاء الله النبيين اذا الله بس 
قدر له الايام هذه بيؤدي اداء طيب، اما بالنسبه حق خيلنا الباقيه كانت خيل عاديه مبتدئه وعندنا حصان اكتشفنا اليوم الخبر الطيب ان عندنا حصان بطل اول 120 له وكانت عليه الفارسه اليزابيث تمثل الفريق الملكي طبعا هي من بلجيكا ويات المركز الرابع صفت في الامام مع الخيل نافذت منافسه طيبه وياهم والصراحه هي من بد الخيل كله اللي ما رشحناها هي اللي جات المركز الرابع الحمد لله طول العمر بطوله شانتي اللي هي بتوجيه منكم طويل العمر تحولت الى بطوله دوليه يمكن هذه ثاني سنه ولكن العدد اللي شفناه مشارك في هذه البطوله مشجع ومريح 106 مشارك من مختلف دول العالم من اوروبا طبعا من منطقتنا ومن امريكا الجنوبيه واستراليا الحمد لله يعني هذه خبر طيب ولكن لحد الان عندنا بعض الاعمال اللي ممكن احنا ننجزها ونعدل في بعض الامور اللي احس انها نواقص ممكن انها تكمل هذا السباق الى ما يصبح السباق الدولي او مجمع لجميع العالم ان شاء الله في هالمكان هذا Under the patronage of the Royal Guard, Commander Major General Hassan al-Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa, an honoring ceremony was held at the Isa Air Base for a Bahrain Defense Force contingent taking part in the Saudi-led Arab coalition Operation Restoring Hope. His Highness Sheikh Nasser deputized Royal Guard Deputy Commander Major General Hamad Khalifa al-Nu'aymi to receive and honor the BDF task force in the ceremony. The Royal Guard Deputy Commander handed over the medals, which were bestowed by his Majesty. Taking Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on BDF officers, non commissioned officers, and the task force servicemen in recognition of their dedicated patriotic efforts, high morale, professionalism, and discipline in performing their duties. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior BDF officers and families of the task force servicemen. Upon the directives of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the committee concerned with the study of deaths of citizens in public walkways, chaired by the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Dr. Abdul Rahman Sadiq Asqar. The meeting discussed the report submitted by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning on the locations of public walkways in the Kingdom and the services provided by the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs. The Electricity and Water Authority gave a presentation on the environment surrounding walkways. The committee also reviewed the information provided by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications in addition to the statistics provided by the Supreme Council for the Environment on the safety of the general climate of Bahrain.